In today's lesson, we're going to talk about balancing, balancing your business or your family life, how to make things happen and not feel guilty, right? So we're talking about the DMO, the 3553. Every day you should be working on the DMO. If you don't have this, you can get this on mlnation.com, uh, DMO 35553. So how do you build your business? And this is something I struggle with uh, when it first hit me and after being over like 10 years now, uh, almost having kids with 10 years. This is, I'll share some tips that have helped me on my entrepreneurial journey. So number one is routine is more important than anything. You have to plan out your day, plan out your schedule. If you don't plan things out, life is going to smack you in the face, hit you, and you're going to be not, you spend the whole day doing nothing, all right? So make sure you have that routine down. Have a routine and schedule. Plan it out. Uh, that's why, you know, um, I do my daily pep talks, my consistency pep talks to help motivate people. It's free for everyone. It's on Instagram. It's on my Facebook page. I do that at 5.25 a.m. So people often ask me, when's the best time to post? There is really no perfect time to post. The best time to post is when you can do it consistently. And for me, consistently, it's 5.25 before the kids and everyone wakes up, before I have to walk OB and do all that stuff, okay? The, ch the ch responsibilities I have as a, fa as a father. So find a routine that works for you and schedule it in. And I know sometimes it's hard that if you're a single, you don't have kids, it's much easier. And I always have a joke. You don't realize how much time you're wasting until you have a child. And I actually talked to them about the coaching clients and she messaged me the other day. Oh, Simon, I can't believe you're so right. Every time I think about you, your words haunt me because she just had her first baby. She said, oh my goodness, I wasted so much time. So, but if you have kids, you have to be even more productive. You got to plan out your day and schedule. Okay, that's number one. And number two is work around your kid's schedule. Like I do my pep talks, consistently pep talks early in the morning. Work around your kid's schedule. You can stay up a little bit late. Work during your lunch hour. You really need to be more frugal with your time than anything else. Now learn to say no. Focus, focus, focus. And like the 80-20 rule, right? If 20% give you 80% of the returns, you really find yourself not having, you have no time to waste on negative prospects. People will troll on you. People are trying to convince you move on quickly. So next tip is you want to create boundaries. So when you're with your family, create a boundary. This has helped me out. It's like, I just say no to everything. I'm totally focused on that. I'm being present. That means it doesn't matter who messages. I'm not checking the phone. And often like in dinner time, I put the phone away. I don't check it. They'll make you way more present. You'll enjoy. Those are the things you, at the end of the day, those are, those are the moments you remember, you cherish. Not the message that you're replying back to someone. That can wait, right? So if you're planning out your schedule and planning out not just for the business, plan out for your family as well. Be present with them when you're with them. All right. Don't um, multitask. I've talked a lot about it, but multitasking makes you dumb. There's about lots of studies about it. Be focused and present. They'll help you out. So, and a lot of you feel like you're guilty if you're with your family. You're guilty you're not building your business. When you're with your business, you're guilty you're not with your family. Just be fully present and focus on one. If you're mixing in both of them, that's when you get in trouble. The guilt ha happens, right? Uh, because someone's messaging you, you're messaging back, but then your kid wants your attention. So just put this up, focus. When you're on business, focus on business. When you're with your family, focus on the business. Don't multitask. Now, the third rule is, the third thing that will help you out, this is, uh, it's just like things always change, okay? Things always change. You never know. It's a constant change. Just when you have the routine, you get productivity on, your schedule of your kids change, and you got to adapt again. So you really have to be adaptable. You can't say, and you can't, you know, when I first started, I had this, I was like, no, that's not the way it is. No, it's ruining my schedule. You just have to accept that's the way it is and have an attitude of adaptability that you have to adapt. You'd be the quick on your feet. Now, things have changed. You know, even right now, I'm recording this. The, the My second son, his schedule is going to change. We're going to totally change up my morning routine. Totally change up the morning routine, right? Um, totally. For my wife's, uh, she works part-time. She loves what she does. She's an eye doctor. She loves what she does. She works only twice a week. But her schedule has changed. And my second son's schedule has changed. And I know I'm going to adapt to it, just like the way I adapt to my schedule. But I know another six months, I got to go change again. And you have to have know that change is the way it is. That's how we grow. That's how you, and if you, you will be able to handle it over time. But it goes back to, you got to schedule it, plan it out. As I know this new schedule coming out with my wife and my second son, I have to be really anal about every minute I spend. Right, the tw do the twenty percent that gives you eighty percent of the return. Say no to most things and just focus on your main things. Focus on your goals and get, like I said, for you the income producing activities, the DMO. Now your action step is number one: create that routine. Uh, number two is boundaries. Don't be multitasking. When you do one thing, focus on your family. 
Otherwise, on the create guilt, when you're with your business, focus on one thing. Don't be bouncing back and forth. And number three, know that things always change. Be adaptable. You know, one of my favorite quotes is from Mike Tyson. He says, everyone has a plan until you get punched in the face. Everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. And then you're oh my goodness, what's going to happen? Right? So you got to be adaptable, be quick on your feet, and realize that's going to happen, and you constantly change. So those are three tips. Uh, create a routine, create those boundaries, be adaptable. And if you do that, you get more done. And you'll be a better family person and you'll also be better in your business and you'll be able to do both without having the guilt.